Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm going to take a tour of the Red Onion Saloon here in Skagway. And it's a small place. They have a bar and a restaurant, and upstairs they have a brothel. And they're, I'm going to take a tour, a guided tour of the brothel as well. So let's go in and take a look. That's about the same time New York City got electricity. So just showing you what kind of money was coming through this teeny town at that time. Now when you see this curling iron, you will notice it looks very similar to that of today's. There is one big difference, the plug at the end. It did become a very rough and violent place, and unfortunately it was not uncommon for these crib rooms to become vacant overnight due to that violence. Mm -hmm. But we believe this violent past is a reason we have such a haunted present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have a resident ghost here at the Red Onion. Her name is Lydia. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about her in this next room. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Yeah. All right. Now Lydia, she was one of our working girls. We believed that she took her own life here at the brothel after contracting a venereal disease which unfortunately was pretty common for this time. Now Lydia, she's quite the character. She likes to make herself known in all kinds of ways. Some have heard her walking up and down the hallway, especially in the early hours of the morning. Some have felt her, maybe a caress on the arm, a hand on the shoulder. Some have gotten a whiff of her signature perfume, which was freshly cut lilacs. Those that have seen her, they usually see her in this corner over here to my left. We even had a ghost hunting group come through here and they detected that this corner was about 10 degrees cooler than the rest of the brothel. Developed in the late 1800s in Germany, tended to combat cholera. What? There you go. There's the cover. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, look at this one. It's a bed warmer. Downstairs is the bar and restaurant, and upstairs here is the gentleman's room. And it has a bar, and this is where they meet the ladies that work here. And I guess these are pictures of some of them. Probably all these people here are from the cruise line. Looks like they're having a good time. It's a very popular place, obviously. Well, that's it. Good day, folks.